Happy Holidays! Hi, I'm Pedro and welcome to Mandai Monthly, your monthly guide to enjoying the sights and sounds of our parks. This December, we're going to check out an amazing animal at Singapore Zoo that lives off a crunchy diet. Next up, we're going to hop on down to Night Safari to meet one of the most endangered marsupials in the world. Ready? Let's go! Reptopia is home to over 60 species of reptiles from all across the globe. Hailing from the tropical regions of South America, Cayman lizards are semi-aquatic lizards that grow to over a meter in length. Cayman lizards have thick scales that act as armor and a long tail that makes them strong swimmers. These features make them look like caimans, hence their names. Kurato Okyu is from the Reptile Care team and she's going to share some interesting caiman lizard facts with us. Q, what do caiman lizards eat? So in the wild, caiman lizards feed on crustaceans as well as fish. But here in Singapore Zoo, we feed them a variety of fish such as mackerel and capelin. And we also feed them freshwater snails. So once the snail is in their mouth, they will use their molar teeth and their jaws to crush the snail. And once the snail is crushed, they will use their forked tongue to push out the shell bits and only consume the flesh. The caiman lizard feeding is really something exciting to watch. What time does this happen? So our caiman lizard feeding happens daily. However, the timing will change depending on our schedule. So the best way to know the timing would be to head over to Reptopia entrance and it will be displayed right in front. Compared to the caiman lizards, our next animals are tiny. Here at Night Safari, we're going to check out the wallies, otherwise known as the brush-tailed batons. Although these small critters look like mice and rodents, they are marsupials from Australia. Wallies give birth to underdeveloped babies called joeys, just like their cousins, the wallabies and kangaroos. Joining us today is Afika, one of the keepers here at Wallaby Trail at Night Safari and she is one of the marsupial keepers. Afika, can you tell us a little bit more about the wallies here at Night Safari? So for the wallies uh, we have here at the Night Safari, we actually have six individuals. We have three females and three males, but you will see most of the time uh, the males uh, in the exhibit. The wallies look like tiny kangaroos. Do they eat the same thing as kangaroos like grass and leaf? They do eat all of those. In addition to that, they also eat a variety of mushrooms and insects. So their favourite is actually the white button nose mushroom and also giant mealworm. Do you have any tips for the viewers on how to spot our wallies? My advice would be to come only after 9pm where they are the most active. After 9pm, we scatter the food around their habitat where they will forage and burrow on their own at full display. Thanks for watching this issue of Mandai Monthly. We hope it was helpful and we'll see you in our parks real soon. Bye!